According to Administrative Order No Al VDM 20-4046, the process is a two-step affair that begins with reporting the sale or transfer of the vehicle to the Land Transportation Office. This should be done within five days off the actual turnover date or the indicated turnover date in the notarized deed, whichever comes first. The other step is the actual transfer of ownership. This must be accomplished within 20 days off the vehicle's actual turnover date or the indicated turnover date in the notarized deed, whichever comes first, a fine off 20. 000 awaits sellers who do not report the transfer within the five-day time limit, a further 20. 000 will be charged if the transfer of ownership is not processed within the 20-day period. Land Transportation Office Chief Vigor Mendoza II issued a memorandum to halt the implementation of Administrative Order AOVDM 2024046 in the best interest of service and to clarify certain provisions for better implementation, as well as to lengthen the compliance period and allow more time to widen the information dissemination. The effectivity of AOVDM 204046 is held in abeyance until further notice. Mendoza also directed regional offices to draft and submit an amended AO, taking into account the inputs of other stakeholders. The memorandum signed by Mendoza took effect immediately. AOVDM 2024046, released on August 30, requires the seller to report the ray sale of a vehicle within five days to the Land Transportation Office and the buyer or the new vehicle owner to process the transfer of ownership within 20 days. Land Transportation Office released the order in an effort to curb the rise of unregistered vehicles, multiple sales, and the sale of vehicles through open deeds of sale. To prevent the rampant increase in unregistered, unrecorded, double or multiple sales of motor vehicles, sale by means of open deed of sale and unregistered motor vehicles, the Land Transportation Office has taken measures to prevent these issues. The coverage of the order is all motor vehicles, including electric and hybrid vehicles, with existing registration, either two- or three-wheeled motor vehicles. Senator Rafi Tulfo, chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Services, expressed satisfaction that the Land Transportation Office followed his recommendation to suspend the implementation of Administrative Order AO VDM 2024046, which outlines new guidelines on vehicle ownership transfer. It can be recalled that during the hearing of the Public Services Committee on October 23, Tulfo questioned the lack of proper information dissemination about the new AO and the exorbitant fee imposed on sellers and buyers who failed to report sales and transfer vehicle registrations within days of the transaction. Considering the lapses in the AO, Tulfo urged Elto to stop implementation of the new AO and issue a new one with well-defined system, as well as proper information dissemination with national circulation, including newspapers, television, radio, and social media, to avoid confusion among all parties involved and give them enough time to comply with the transfer of ownership requirements. Tulfo added that there was a need to remove penalties for vehicle owners with transactions that happened before the release of AO. Just hours after Tulfo called for changes to the controversial AO, the Land Transportation Office issued a memorandum suspending the order and directed the Executive Secretary to submit an amended version of the AO. Shout out to Senator Rafi Tulfo, sir thank you so much. Please subscribe this channel. Archive Story Vlogs